Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a half tone effect on portraits. So, for example, this is one of those, and as you can see, I tried out with multiple models. You can download from onsplash.com. The first thing we're going to do is create some line in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you're on the stroke, you don't have anything on the field. If you have something on the field, then click on none. Click on the stroke, so the stroke is going to, get, going to be on top, and select the black color. From here, go and select the line segment tool. Okay, we're going to draw lines, press and hold shift, drag a line, something like this. And I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it down and also press shift. Make sure you get more space going on in between. So the black line is thinner and the white line there is thicker. And then press control D until it creates a ton of copies. Select them all, right click, group, press Ctrl C and go back to Photoshop. I'm going to paste the line on this model, so press Ctrl V and this is going to appear. I'm going to select the smart object, press OK, press and hold Alt plus Shift and double click. So here we have these two layers. This is the line and this is the portrait. I'm going to, adjust, I'm going to uncheck the lines and I'm going to adjust the portrait a little bit. Also make sure that uh, the portrait is on black and white so you should select uh, the black and white from the adjustment layers and then go back and let's go to the this is the levels. I'm going to check the levels and I'm going to add some contrast. Let's select also the curves and pull it from this little square some around here so basically it's going to create this zone gray the main idea is to the lines to be more darker so the lines need to be black and uh, the model needs to be a little bit more blurred out you know with the gray let's go back to the levels and i also going to pull this little square as you can see here, this is going to make it more sharp. You know, we're going to remove some of, some of the shadows also. Basically, it should be somewhere around here. Uh, now I'm going to apply the lines. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. So uh, the Gaussian Blur needs to be bl pretty much a little bit more blurry, not too much. For example, this is going to disappear. But the more blur you apply like this, then the effect is going to work even better. So I'm going to go with uh, some around like 18. Click OK. And from here, I'm going to apply the threshold. If you pull this, see that? It's going to make the effect possible. So uh, yeah. And also you can see that we still have these uh, details going on. We have a lot of details, so uh, we just need to remove those. So I'm gonna go back to the model. You can see right here, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this way we can, uh, you know, blur out those details. You can test it out and click okay. And also you can adjust uh, all these uh, settings. For example, you can adjust the levels. So if you have, if you want to pull push it pull it downwards, this line is going to be more thicker. So if I'm going to push it up, it's going to get more thinner. And if you want to push it to the left, as you can see, it made it straight. So these are like sharp edged before it was rounded so if i go back here it starts to make it more rounded and the main idea is that uh, you need to experiment with it if you zoom out you're gonna see better the effect so yeah there's like a lot of options going on it's pretty neat you just need to test a little more this was it uh, thanks for watching if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the other videos as well have a good one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.